Hello, I'm Leomaris Reyes, Microsoft MVP for four years in a row, and today I want to give you the welcome to the .NET MAUI challenges. But um, what's that? How does it work? These are different types of challenges in which we will be exploring about .NET MAUI topics. This will be launching periodically, and the most important goal of that is that you will be able to continue practice and continue growing up in your .NET MAUI career. So join with us and let's continue learning about .NET MAUI. But what about the challenge structure? Each one of the challenge has exactly the same structure. This one is composed by three important points that you have to keep in mind. The first one is the statement of the challenge. You will always see an image which will be giving you a description of what the challenge expects from you. And also, you will be able to see three possible options about your challenge, but you only have to select one. The second point is the solution. In each challenge, you will have the option that solves this one. It will be hidden so that I recommend you first to analyze it and then click it to see the current answer with its respective explanation. And finally, the static resource. Once you see the current answer, each challenge solution will be having an static resource so you can delve into it and continue studying about this topic. For this challenge, we will be learning about how to handle rope light and dark mode in our .NET MAUI applications. In this case, the specific question is, how can I set a light or dark mode for my app controls? As you can see, the main problem here is that we have a label that needs to establish the background color pink for light mode and blue for dark mode. How can I do it? I have three possible options. Let's explore it. The first and the second, as you can see, are too similar. They are using the app 10 binding markup station and are establishing volume for light and dark mode. Please pay attention to the difference between them. And the last one is the option C. And here we are using the add 10 binding markup station and also establishing value for light and dark mode. Please think about what is the right answer and let's see in the solution. Do you already have your answer? The right one is the option A. But why? Let's start with the second one. As you can see here, we are using the app and binding, and that's right, but the light board is misspelled. That's why this is incorrect. Let's continue with the letter C. Here, we are using the add 10 binding markup station, and this one doesn't exist. That's why is incorrect. And let's return with the letter A. Here, we are using the app 10 binding markup station, which is right, and we are establishing different values both for light and dark mode. And that's the right structure that we have to use when we want to do it. Are you excited about this amazing topic? I know that your answer is yes, and that's why I'm leaving you the article Handle Light and Dark Mode with Don Denma. Let's explore. The first that you see is the introduction of the topic. Also, you will see a platform compatibility, which is an important topic. Light and Dark Mode description. The structural explanation that we previously saw in the challenge, and of course, a code example, could insist in appearance, for example, unispecified, light or dark mode, of course. And finally, setting system 10. And that's all. This is a too simple but important topic to learn. Continue practices and see you in the next challenge. Bye bye.